Hi. Let me tell you about another great Manning book. Secrets of the JavaScript Ninja, 2nd edition, by John Rissig, Bear B. Bolt, and Josip Maris. JavaScript is a widely used programming language that can be used for web, mobile, and desktop applications. It is rare for a language to be so easily transferable and useful across so many different domains. JavaScript has evolved from a humble 10-day project in 1995 to one of the most widely used programming languages in the world. JavaScript is often misunderstood because it looks similar to other languages like c -sharp and Java. However, it is functionally different and has unique concepts like first-class functions, closures, and prototype-based object orientation. Other features like generators, promises, proxies, advanced array methods, maps, sets, and regular expressions can also make your code more elegant. Using modules can make projects more manageable by breaking code into smaller, self-contained pieces. Transpilers allow us to use the latest JavaScript features, even if our users have older browsers. They transform cutting-edge code into similar code that works in most current browsers. Popular transpilers include Tracer and Babel, which are easy to set up by following tutorials. This book focuses on running JavaScript in the browser and requires studying the inner workings of browsers. The browser is where JavaScript applications started and where we'll focus. We'll cover the document object model, DOM, events, and browser APIs. Browsers have issues and inconsistencies, so we need to develop a strategy for dealing with them. We'll also explore cross-browser development strategies. Debugging JavaScript has improved significantly with the development of tools like Firebug, which is a popular developer extension for Firefox. Similar tools are now available for all major browsers, including Chrome DevTools, Firefox Developer Tools, F12 Developer Tools, and WebKit Inspector. These tools offer similar functionality, such as exploring the DOM, debugging JavaScript, editing CSS styles, and tracking network events. We will test the example code in this book to ensure it works correctly. We will use an assert function to check if a premise is true or false. The function has two parameters, a condition that should be true, and a message that displays if it's not. If the assertion fails, a message will be displayed. To ensure efficient code, it's important to analyze performance. JavaScript engines have improved, but it's still necessary to write efficient code. To collect performance information, use console.time and console.timeend methods. Start a timer with a name before executing the code and run it multiple times. When the operation ends, call console, time end with the same name to output the elapsed time. Learning fundamental JavaScript principles and core APIs can make you a more versatile developer. By understanding these underlying principles, you can boost your development skills and tackle a wide variety of problems, including building serverless applications in the cloud with JavaScript APIs like AWS Lambda. Get this book at manning.com.